Yeah, great, and this is working too. So, interestingly, our paper is about a new type of attack, which made me thought maybe there was something wrong. Someone attacked our AV team. So, our paper talks about a new type of attack to recommend our systems. It's called fake coicitation injection attack. This is a joint work with Dr. Neil Gong and In Kai. We're both from, we're all from uh, our state university. So, a little bit of background about uh, recommender systems. So basically we use them every day and see them on many different popular websites. For example, a co-visitation recommender system, it's a specific type of recommender system that makes recommendations based on co-visitation between items. So let me illustrate with an example. Uh, for example, we know on YouTube, after you finish watching a video, YouTube will basically show you a list of related videos for you to, to, choose, to choose to watch next. So all these recommended videos are viewed together in the past with the video that you just clicked. For example, on this, on this example, I have clicked a funny cat video, and after I watch that video, it shows me a list of other funny cat videos. And this, this type of co based recommender system is very popular. So for example, Amazon also provides a very similar feature. It's called customers who view this item also viewed. The same feature is also provided by eBay. And in this paper, we find that this very popular co-visitation based recommender system is actually vulnerable to a very simple type of attack that a, an attacker can manipulate a recommender system like this to make recommendations as he wants. So co-visitation recommendation system is based on the idea that items that are, that are frequently viewed in the past are likely to be clicked by the user in the future. So let me illustrate with an example. For example, there are two videos on YouTube. Video, let's just call them video A and video B. So in the past, we know these two videos are frequently viewed together by a bunch of users. So YouTube may as well guess, okay, there might be some correlation between these two videos. So in the future, if a new user came and clicks on video A, YouTube is going to show video B on video A's, what we call a recommendation list. And view, after the uh, user views video A, uh, we're going to recommend video B to him because we believe there's some correlation between these two videos. That's this, it's very simple. That's how co uh, recommendation system works. So the key data structure behind the co based recommendation system, it's a graph called co visitation graph. It's an undirected, edge-weighted, and vertex-weighted graph. On this graph, um, each vertex basically represents an item. For example, on this simple example graph, we have four nodes, so four items. And the weight on, the vert on each vertex represents the number of views accumulated by that item. So basically, how many people have viewed this item in the past, which is also called popularity of the item. And the, the weight on the edge is the number of co-visitations between these two items. For example, in this picture, uh, we know that item one and item two has been viewed together in the past for at least eight times. And by viewed together, I mean uh, at least one user has viewed these two items within the same browser session. So basically just open the browser, click on item one, view it for maybe a few minutes, then click on item two. That's simple. That's a definition of co-visitation in our paper. So two types of recommendations can be made using this simple co-visitation graph. There are either item to item recommendation or um, user to item recommendation. The difference is for item to item recommendation, the input is an item and the recommendation system is to generate a list of other items that are, he believes that are related to this item you're viewing as recommendation. And for user to, recomm to item recommendation, it, it an analyzes the prof profile of the user and to make a recommendation. So in this presentation, uh, I'm going to focus on item to item recommendation for demonstration and you can refer to our paper for details about how to attack user to item recommendation system. So in order to make an item to item recommendation, there are three simple steps. The first step is the system need to compute what is a so-called item to item similarity. So that basically measures how similar two items are to each other using this simple equation here. So SIG basically is the measurement of similarity between two items, item I and item G. WIG, it's just a number of co-visitations between these two items. So for how many times these two items has been viewed together? WI and WG respectively means the, the number of other, the popularity of the two items. And IF is just um, uh, any computation defined over WI and WG. For example, on YouTube, we know because he published a paper 
we know they used FIG, F, uh, they, they simply use the product of WI and WG as FIG. And also, uh, you can also use um, cosine similarity, stuff like that. So the second step is, after you have the item-to-item -item similarity, we can rank all the items by their similarity with a specific item. For example, in this graph, um, the items ranked by their similarity to item one are item two, four, and three. That means, well, basically among all these five items, item two are most similar to item one, followed by item four, followed by item three. So it's basically uh, it's just a rank ranking. And the last step is to generate the recommendation list, which means the recommendation list should include items that with high similarity to this item your, the user is viewing, and also it needs to satisfy a so-called popularity threshold. That means this recommended item must be, itself must be popular enough. Now we didn't invent this concept, it's basically proposed by YouTube, used by, YouTube, uh, by Google on YouTube recommendation systems. So that's, uh, with, after these three simple, simple steps, a recommendation is made. For example, for a user who views item one in the future, we will recommend him to also take a look in item two because they're similar. So a little related, a few, a few related work are here. Um, for example, in this uh, using security 13 paper, the authors proposed the pollution attack to user to item uh, recommendation systems, which is mainly relate, relate on forging of cross set request. So it's targeting a single user, individuals. So it's not applicable to item-to-item -to -item recommendation system, like uh, the focus of our paper. And also there's a profile injection attack, which is better known as shilling attack. Uh, basically it uh, injects fake users into the user item reading matrix to make fake, co uh, to make fake uh, recommendations. Um, also this is not applicable to our, uh, this type of uh, recommendation system that we answered in this paper. And also our work is also related to um, so-called reversal machine learning because our work or our attack can be seen as a data poisoning attack to recommender systems because recommender system can be seen as one, a type of data mining system. So um, uh, before I introduce our attack, let me first uh, give you a brief introduction to the threat model we defined and then uh, the proposed algorithm for our attack. Then our attacks uh, first evaluated on a set of uh, a synthetic data, a synthetic co-visitation graph. Then we're going to show that our attack also works on several real-world recommender systems, including YouTube, eBay, Amazon, Yelp, LinkedIn, and a bunch of others. And finally, I'm going to discuss a little, a few uh, countermeasures. So in our threat model, we define three different types of attackers based on their um, application scenario and knowledge. So for high knowledge attack, attacker, we assume that the attacker knows the exact co-visitation graph. So he knows the number of co-visitations between items and also knows the popularity of items. And also it knows the popularity threshold precisely. So basically this attacker knows exactly which items going to be recommended because of, uh, basically it can compute the similarity between items precisely. And then we have medium knowledge attacker, which only knows the recommendation, recommendation list of each item, which is publicly available. Otherwise, it, it makes no sense to recommend, to show a recommendation list. And it also knows the item popularity. So basically, it knows how, how many times an item being viewed. And finally, we have a low knowledge attacker, which only have access to the recommendation list. So it does not know uh, the co visitations between items. It does not know uh, the popularity of the items. So, uh, the first, the high knowledge attacker corresponds to the insider attack, basically knows everything. And YouTube falls in the second category because on YouTube you, you, can, you can actually see the recommendation list and also the number of views of each video. And the other websites that we attacked falls in the third category. And the goal of the attacker is to manipulate the so-called user impression, which is defined as what is the probability that a random visitor to this website is going to see this item. So there are two different goals. The first is um, the attacker may want to increase the user impression of its own item. On the other hand, it may want to decrease the user impression of a competitor's item. So based on these two different goals, we propose two different kinds, different types of attacks. The first type is promotion attack. The goal of the attacker is to increase the user impression of a given item by adding this item to the recommendation list of as many items as possible. So for example, the user has a target item and a bunch of other items he want to attack. His goal is to add this uh, tar target atom 
to the recommendation list of these other items so that when a, when a user views these items in the future, he's going to see this target item. So the target item can be promoted to some extent. Now these items are called anchor items. We're going to attack them uh, because we're kind of use them as an anchor to promote the target item. And on the other hand, we can define a uh, demotion attack in a similar way. But in a, 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 in a demotion attack, the goal is to remove a target item from the recommendation list of as many items as possible. And similarly, these items are called anchor items. So how precisely do we perform the attack? Now here are two key challenges. The first challenge is, oh, given the target item, and we have a limited number of coincitations to inject, which anchor items should, should we select? Because there are, for example, on YouTube, there are millions of videos. Which ones should we specifically pick to attack? That's one problem. The second problem is, uh, after we pick a set of anchor items, how many coincitations are needed for the attack to success? That means, okay, give this video. Um, how many co fake coincitations do we need to put a target video on the recommendation list of this specific video? So these two uh, questions need to be answered. And our solution is very simple. Um, our solution is very simple. We can formulate the attack as an optimization problem. So the constraint is we have a limited number of coincitations, co co and we have some basic conditions to satisfy. For example, the similarity of the target atom must be no less than the similarity score of um, any other item on the, uh, at least uh, other item on the recommendation list of the target item. So by solving this optimization problem, we can select the best anchor items to attack and also determine uh, what are the number of fake visitations needed? So let me demonstrate the attack with uh, an example. For example, in this case, uh, given this original co-visitation graph, we want to promote item three, which is this one. And after solving the optimization problem, we select, okay, these two items, we're going to attack them to make item three appear on the recommendation list. So before the attack, you can see on the recommendation list, item two has been recommended. And our goal is to replace item two with item three. So in order to do that, very simple. We just need to open our browser and view item three with item one together within the same browser session for repeated many times until item three appears on the item one's recommendation list. And we can do the same for item three and item four. The order actually does not matter. Then after this, after we just view these items for enough times, the recommendation list will be changed. Now item three will appear on the recommendation list of both item one and item, uh, and item four. So similarly, uh, this is for the high knowledge attacker because he knows the exact uh, coincidence graph. But this attack, this simple attack, also works for medium knowledge or no knowledge, uh, no knowledge, uh, no knowledge attacker. So we can basically convert a medium uh, knowledge attacker by estimating the edge weight. And also we can convert a low knowledge attacker by estimating the vertex weight to convert it into a, high, into a medium knowledge attacker. So for demotion attacks, basically the same, the same principle. For example, in this case, we want to demote item four because item four now appears on the recommendation list of three different items and I, we want to remove item four from these recommendation lists. Now what we're going to do is to insert fake coincitations between item three and item one and also fake coincitations between item two and item five. So after we insert certain number of fake coincitations between these items, the recommendation list is going to change. Now item four no longer appears on any recommendation list of these three items. So we evaluated our attack first on the synthetic recommendation system. And our goal is to answer these three questions. The first is how does the attacker's background knowledge in fact uh, impact, impact our attacks? And also, how does the coincitation graph structure impact our attacks? And finally, we want to find out how does the number of co fake coincitations impact the outcome. Okay, so here's the results. And since I'm running out of time, I'm just going to say, uh, basically, high, uh, the, the more knowledge the attacker ha has, the, more, uh, the better res the, the result is. And the uh, coincitation graph structure basically has no significant impact on the, on the result. And finally, as the number of fake coincitations uh, increases, uh, the threat increases. This is very reasonable. And also we evaluated our result on uh, several real world recommender systems using the simple uh, step, four simple steps. The first is initialization, basically to acquire enough knowledge that we need to know about this recommendation system. Then we'll select a bunch of anchor items to attack. 
then we'll start to insert fake elicitations using a simple script. And we're going to examine the result and repeat this process for about 20, 21 days, about three weeks. And there is a delay of 48 hours to 72 hours between we can have the result, we can examine the result and, we'll, and the injection of fake elicitations because well, the recommendation systems or the recommendation list is not updated in real time. So this is the result on YouTube. So after 21 days, we were able to, we selected more than 400 anchor items to attack, and actually we were able to use a single, a single, single computer, we were able to attack more than 200 of videos on YouTube to make a target video appear on the recommendation list of this 200, more than 200 videos. And we also computed, or some, uh, compu computed the sum of popularity of the successfully attacked we attacked videos, and they, they, have, they have accumulated more than uh, 60,000 views, and that means the a target video is going to be viewed by a lot of users in the future on YouTube. So that's basically the results. And a little, uh, I'm going to quickly talk about countermeasures. So one very effective countermeasure to the attacks to limit the background knowledge of the attacker, for example, this can be done by discretized item popularity. For example, if the original item popularity is 3,000 3, something, we can simply tell the user the item is more than 3,500, uh, 3, or even we can simply tell the, the user's uh, popularity more than, only more than 2,000. So by doing this, we can decrease the threat significantly. So that's one simple way to, um, as a countermeasure to our attack. And a little conclusion, this recommender system are in general vulnerable to this very simple fake coercitation injection attack, and an attacker can manipulate a recommendation system using this attack to recommend items that he, that of his favor. Okay, that's it.